Well, you guys, you wanted a update on how this turned out. So what I did is I just laid this down on the ground, threw in those seeds that I showed you from the package and um, watered it every day, every other day. And look, it's growing. Now, because I didn't know the variety of what's growing in here, um, anything that has like a little wheat grass or whatever kind of grass does grow straight through. But any of the flat leaves, they're not really going growing right through. So if you decide to use a different wire, you could either use um, a bigger hole. Um, see the geese, they like to walk on top of it. So don't use chicken wire because that'll flatten it out and get really, really warped. Sometimes all four of the geese will sit on top of here and that will just, you know, flatten this out completely, which is the reason why you, you chose this, because see, it doesn't really bend as much. But there is a variety in here. Um, so if you use a heavier gauge, but bigger, um, that would be highly recommended, because see, these guys, they're like, really? You can't eat anything out of this. <laughs> so I want to go show you the other one. This is in the shade, by the way. Okay, so if we go over here, this is in the sun, and the leaves are bigger actually on this one because they were both planted at the same time. Again, the geese like to sit here and pick up rocks and throw them on top, but look at the leaves on some of these. So the leaves are not going to go through. And so what I'm going to have to do is um, probably, it's possible that I may just pick it up and move it over and let them wipe this out and just grow another harvest. Or I'm gonna get a third one in here, get it started, and then let this um, get eaten up because they're gonna gobble it within, I don't know, a half hour probably. Look at these little guys, they're like yummy. These are lavender, standard size Americanas. Purebreds, they're a self blue jean, but yeah. So it's doing really well. There's a variety of stuff that grows. I don't know what all of it is, but see right there? That could be like dill or something, but it's an omega-3 fatty acid. I think it said on there. It's a nice mix of, I just wanted to add this into the video real quickly. This is what the chick mix looks like. Non-GMO, increased omega fatty, omega-3 fatty acids in eggs development for free range chickens. So you just plant, grow, and they feast. You get a pound of this. I can't remember the price of it. I want to say it's like $9.99 at your local tractor supply, but it has all the information in here. And this is what's in the mix, actually. Screen, um, pause this to know what it is. All right, back to the video. Um, Omega-3s. Okay, I think that's it for that. So that was my little update for that. Otherwise, when I do weed, out in the garden area. I do throw um, a lot of stuff in here you can see on the ground. But look, it's growing. These are hey, cuties. These are snapdragons, last year's seeds. And sadly, whatever grows too close to the fence will get eaten. So about 12 inches in will be gone because I know the geese will eat. Oh wait, no, that's not true. You know why? Because my Sebastopols are getting rehomed. I will have probably some white Chinese swan geese. Um, I've been trying to get them before. It's already end of May, so I may not do them this year. Their geese are the ones that really go in there. Chickens can only go in like six inches to pick. So there's gonna be a lot of snapdragons growing in there. <laughs> They're so cute. Look how they make holes. I'm gonna see something cute. So that lavender Americana rooster, he's a standard size. He's so pretty. That little bit of gold and yellow is from the sun. When he molts, he won't have that. He'll be lavender again. But I've been collecting all his eggs with this girl. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the clip. You'll see it in a second. All right, you guys, these are my little dwarf trees, my espaliated fruit trees. Well, I hope that gives you an idea. Um, just to recap real quickly, these are like very small. They're like a half inch. They're just um, cedar, what do you call them, for making fences. 
and you can see here this is probably like i don't know six inches in height it has these little pieces to kind of join them together to reinforce it and you don't want anything too big this is about five feet by 20 inches 24 well 24 inches so 24 inches from here to there and then about five feet that way they're small they're easy to lift up and turn over and do whatever you have to do and again if i had a fourth one i only have three of these um i could put it right here another row and start a new one before i up up that one but they're actually eating it so it's fine so let me just leave it alone this is where i put first saturday lime i love that stuff she's such a good girl this is my olive egger well, thanks for watching, and um, I will try to do these videos weekly. These are so pretty. These are my lavender, or sorry, my English modeled Orpington girls. I have chicks growing. There they all are. The widow babies. There's a little boy right there. A couple of boys. Pretty, pretty babies. I'm so excited. If you want to see updates on those, let me know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Don't forget to subscribe and um, leave a comment and say hello. And let me know if you're doing any gardening right now. I have a lot of plants on the other side of the yard over there. It's kind of scattered everywhere. I need to cut the grass too. <laughs> oh, I'm watering right now. And look at my little call duckies. If you guys want any specific videos on any of the breeds, um, I'll work on them. Like the call ducks. Lavender Americanas, my silky, silky chicks. I don't have any other braids anymore, no quills. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But hopefully there'll be some babies hatching today of the call ducks. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.